So what I want to do uh, in this opening statement is just to give you three reasons to think that a bubble is taking place now. And the key idea I want to convey with you is that the very elements of, of Bitcoin that its supporters cite as support for their view that Bitcoin is this great new thing is also the greatest uh, vulnerability for Bitcoin. So first, anonymity. Okay, so Bitcoin transactions are anonymous or more accurately pseudonymous. People use codes that are difficult to trace back to them. And this, of course, is, a, is attractive. People want to keep their financial transactions private. Two problems with this. The people for whom this is most attractive is criminals. That's why there's a great deal of criminal activity in the Bitcoin uh, market. Bitcoins are very good for uh, money wanderers, drug criminals, human traffickers, and many other criminals. Um, and then there's another problem, which is that Bitcoin is only anonymous for very sophisticated people, sophisticated criminals especially. Ordinary people can't master the technology. And as a result, ordinary people have come to rely on intermediary inst institutions, a bit like banks, wallet companies, for example, exchanges. And you don't get an anonymity with those companies. Those companies typically insist on the identity of their customers. So ordinary people don't really get an anonymity, ultimately, if the government uh, believes that they're engaged in criminal transactions. Sophisticated people, sophisticated business people, and criminals do. Second feature of, uh, of Bitcoin, the fixed money supply. There can never be more than 21 million Bitcoins because of the way that the program was uh, designed. This is said to be good because um, uh, national currencies sometimes are subject to inflation, which um, it can be a nuisance and in extreme cases a, a terrible, cause terrible uh, problems. The problem, though, is that a fixed money supply is no good either. Fixed money supply leads to deflation, which is just as bad as inflation. People will hoard the currency, as they are with Bitcoin, because they believe that they'll be able to buy more goods and services in the future. A currency that is not used is dysfunctional. Bitcoin can't be successful as long as there's a limited money supply. But even more important than that, the government's control of the money supply is absolutely essential for addressing financial crises like the one we lived through in 2008 and addressing recessions like the one we lived through in the years after the financial crisis. If the money supply is truly fixed, the government is helpless. Back when the United States was on the gold standard in the 19th century, there was an endless cycle of speculative manias, crashes, and terrible depressions, far worse than anything we've experienced since the Great Depression. 